Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an app slash feature review for your Android smartphone or tablet. Um, in this case, it's going to be specifically for tablet use, but the same thing can be done on your smartphone. So what you're going to do is, um, or what we're going to accomplish as an end result is, let's say you want to use your tablet or smartphone as a desk notification device, secondary display that you always want to keep on. Um, let's say to watch uh, videos, keep your podcast client um, always available so you don't have to keep unlocking it for whatever reason, or you're in a chat room and you want to keep progress of the chats that are going on and you don't want your device to time out, but you find that your device's timeout isn't long enough for you to have to worry about unlocking it every so often, whether it's 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes, half an hour, an hour, whatever, you find that you don't want to have to change it just to keep your device unlocked for as long as possible. So that's where Tasker comes into play. It is available for in Google Play for $2.99. So it does cost a little bit of money, um, but it's not too much. It's the price of a cup of coffee or if you use Google Opinion Rewards and you can get some money or build up some money that way and pay for it that way. But, you, but the money is worth it for what it can do for you. So if you do a search in Google Play for Tasker, that's T-A-S-K-E-R, you'll be able to get it. Uh, once you've got that installed, um, there's gonna it's a two-step process to um, be able to keep your de um, device's screen on, um, kind of, or providing certain criteria are met. So the first thing we're gonna do once you open it, you'll see a little notification for Tasker, or you can go into your app drawer and open it that way. Is to create a task for what we want to happen. So if you've used a website like if this and that, this is the that portion of it. So what happens when certain conditions are met? So what you'll do is you'll hit the plus button here and create a name for it. So in this case, we're going to be leaving our screen on. So I'll call it something um, simple like screen on. So that way I know what that result is. So I'll hit the check mark and now I need to select an action to happen. So what you'll do is you can find, or what you'll need to do is add a uh, feature called display timeout. You can either search for it down here if you don't want to um, poke, if you don't want to have to worry about finding it. So we'll do display and you'll see the few things come up. So let's do time and display timeout comes. Or if you um, don't want to search, then you can go to display and display timeout and you'll see a bunch of options here. So the thing we need to look at here is seconds, minutes, and hours. So how long do we want our screen to stay on? So let's say your device's maximum is one hour, but you want to keep it on for three hours or five hours or indefinitely until you lock it. Then what you'll do in this case, I want to keep it on indefinitely. So I'll set the seconds, minutes, and hours to maximum. So it only goes up to 23 hours, 59 minutes, 59 seconds. But basically in Tasker's mind, that is indefinite. So now you'll hit the back button twice and now we have a task called screen on, but this still is not going to do anything until we have a profile set up to um, look for various conditions to be met. So in the, going back to my previous example of this and that, this is the if portion of that formula. So in this, so now what we're going to do is go to profiles, we'll hit the add button. So now let's say you want to only have your screen on when you're connected to Wi-Fi, for example because you only have Wi-Fi saved on, let's say your tablet at, or even your smartphone for that matter, at home and at work and nowhere else. So, so you're okay with your screen staying on once it's connected. So you'll hit state and then you'll go to net and you'll do Wi-Fi connected. Um, so what this, hap what this will do is anytime you're connected to any Wi-Fi network, your screen will stay on until you manually lock it. Um, if you hit the magnifying glass here, um, you can select a specific Wi-Fi network to be connected to for, so anytime you're connected to that um, network, it, your screen will stay on. So what, let's say you only want this to happen when you're at home, but not when you're at work, or let's say you're at the airport Wi-Fi or Starbucks or something like that, and you don't want that to happen, then um, this will avoid that scenario because it will only look for your home uh, Wi-Fi connection. So in my case, I only have my home Wi-Fi network saved at the moment, so I don't have to sit and do anything specific or anything special after that. So I will now push the back button. So now we have to pick the task that we have set up. So we'll pick screen on. 
So now anytime I'm connected to a Wi-Fi network, my screen will stay on. If I'm not connected, all my standard default um, timeout settings will apply. So if it's set to five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever you have it set to. So now I'll hit the back button and exit out. So after a couple of seconds, Tasker will check the, con check the profiles, see if any conditions are met and take any actions. So when I scroll, swipe down, uh, I see no active profiles. Um, so basically because my Wi-Fi is off, um, it's not going to make any connections and my uh, five, I think my five minute timeout will apply. I don't have to worry about anything here. So now that's all well and good, but let's say you don't, it doesn't really work for you and you need other uses. So the other application for this is in your car. So let's say you have a Bluetooth connection in your car and you want to use your tablet as a a Wi-Fi only, or even if you have a mobile data, but you want your device, your tablet to stay on as a um, call, let's say you to use it for maps, or even if you use it for podcasting or radio, like let's say Pandora or anything like that, then you can use it in your car to keep the screen on. So you don't have to worry about fiddling for the power menu, entering your password or anything like that. And then once it disconnects the Bluetooth, then it will automatically revert back to its uh, default setting. So what you'll do here is the same as the Wi-Fi um, thing that we did, except what you'll do when you hit the go into the add and state. So you'll go back to net, but instead of Wi-Fi connected, you'll do Bluetooth connected. And so anytime you're connected to a paired blue or a saved Bluetooth um, device, it will keep the screen on. And again, same thing here. If you click on the magnifying glass, um, if you wanted it to only um, keep your screen on when you're connected to, let's say your car's Bluetooth, then you can set that here. That way it's only um, applicable there. And then if you have other, let's say Bluetooth headphones you use for music or whatever, let's say at the gym or at work, then it will not apply there. So you'll hit back again and select screen on. And so essentially what you've done here is the same thing as Wi-Fi. So now anytime your device is, let's say, paired to Bluetooth in your car, then it will keep the screen on. You don't have to worry about the passwords. You can browse around as you need, open apps, and do all that good stuff without too much distraction. Um, so that's basically it for that. Um, and then... You can do use task for, Tasker for a number of other things that get a little bit more intricate. So things like, let's say you use Pocket Cast and you want to have it sync at specific times rather than every hour. Or let's say every time, let's say you use Pocket Cast, the app and Pocket Cast on the web and you want to keep them in sync. There's ways of doing that as well. And then various other interactions. So browsing around in the tasks, you'll see that there's, um, let's create a temporary... Um, uh, task. So you can browse around and you'll find that there are a number of different things you can do. So if you want an alert, then you can have that done as well. Or you can have it tell you, let's say, when your Bluetooth is connected or Wi-Fi is connected, you can have it give you a notification. Um, I believe it's notified, but I'm not 100% sure there. I know that, um, let's say you just want a regular toaster notification. Um, then you can just do flash and have it give you text back. So let's say anytime your Wi-Fi is connected, um, then you can just do Wi-Fi, not woohoo, but bad swiping there on my part, but you can do Wi-Fi connected. Wow, I'm really bad at swiping today, but you can do Wi-Fi connected or any text that you want anytime anything happens to give that confirmation. So. Uh, for example, on my smartphone, I do that very example. I have uh, I use Pocket Cast Web and Pocket Cast for Android. So I want to keep it in sync anytime I switch between the website when I'm at my desk and my car when I'm driving. So anytime my smartphone connects to my car, it does a sync. That way it brings me to the latest point in my podcast, whether it's even though it may have synced, let's say, five minutes ago or uh, five hours ago, it'll sync it as soon as it's connected. So that way it brings my progress to current for any episodes I'm listening to. And that will allow me to continue from where I'm going. I don't have to remember to refresh. Um, if I don't open the app right away, um, then I don't have to worry about it then either. Um, uh, I believe Pocket Cast even refreshes on the app launch, but Sometimes I don't launch the app right away and I'll forget and I'll hit play before that scene can even happen. So there's that use as well. 
Um, so maybe in another review, I will do that. But I wanted to share a way to, to help make your device a standalone secondary display. So when, if I go into Pocket Cast, I can, my screen will stay on. I can see the progress. If I need to rewind it, I don't have to worry about unlocking my device, going back, looking at it again. Or let's say a phone call comes and I have to do the same thing. I have to unlock, turn on the device. If I have to find the pause button or anything like that, if the screen's already on, then I don't have to, Look around, I have a nice big button for that. Same thing in YouTube, Pandora, or anything like that. So that's Tasker for Android, and that helps you keep your screen on, whether it's a screen on your desk or a screen, a screen in your car, and keeping the screen on so you don't have to worry about unlocking it. And then you can also do other things as well. So uh, one final bit of um, granularity, so to speak. So let's say you're connected at home, but you only want your screen to stay on between the hours of let's say 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. because obviously when you're sleeping, you don't want your screen to stay on. You're not using it, so what's the point? So I'll go back to my Wi-Fi connected um, place and I'll hit or um, profile. And when you long press that on it, you can um, add, you have various options you can add. So you'll do push the um, add button. And in this case, instead of going to state, you're gonna go to time. And you have the from and two times. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say from run. So basically I want this profile, let's say to run only from 8 a.m. to um, 8 p.m. So let's go to here. And I wanna do 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So um, that's basically, so basically that 12 hour period, my device will stay unlocked if I've already unlocked it once. But once 8 p.m. hits, the profile will stop running and my device will um, lock within five minutes unless I do it manually. So when I go back, um, you'll now see Wi-Fi connected plus from 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. the screen stays on. Um, you can do the same thing for your Bluetooth connection. If Let's say you're in your car and you only want it to happen between certain hours, but obviously if your Bluetooth's not connected, your device will lock by default. So... Um, you don't really have to worry about too much there, but if you do want that granularity, you can add the time there. And you can see the um, difference in the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth descriptions that come up. So my when the Wi-Fi is connected from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., stay on. Bluetooth, only when it's connected will the screen stay on. So a couple of different ways to get that done, um, but a pretty nifty way of not having... For me, the biggest thing is not having to worry about unlocking my device while in my car. I have my phone mounted on the uh, the dock mount or the car mount for my smartphone and um, sometimes I need to pause it or rewind it or for whatever reason I don't want to be distracted by having, every time it beeps or vibrates that whose notification came in or what notification came in. So all I'll see is much like we see here at the moment that if I get an email or WhatsApp message or Facebook notification or anything like that, I can just glance over. I know what came in and I don't have to interact with it and I avoid my paranoia and curiosity of what came in. So that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you want to try a couple or a couple of other ideas you want me to try out, see what kind of uh, profiles and tasks we can set up, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com and you can find me on Twitter at the tell in zero one. But that's all there is for this app slash feature review. Thanks for watching and listening and until next time.